I'm Centraxion, and this is Arc Ragnarok. So, if you watched the last episode, you know we tamed our second tech wreck, so 174, and we made a little breeding area where we're currently breeding for... Well, actually, I'm just, you know, getting a bunch of eggs. During the video, I want to breed them, so... This is actually shark breeding. If you've ever played Ragnarok, you know that I think it's Artifact of the Devourer. It's in a sunken ship somewhere out at sea. And you need a water creature to get there. It's like on the other side of the map from here, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's on the other side of the map from here. But we need a shark to get there, because we're never going to get there with, you know, just swimming. Yeah, so that's about it, yeah. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to start breeding these guys. Behavior, enable mating. Now, for some reason, sharks are mammals in this. Uh, sharks, some species at least, lay eggs. Uh, megalodons in this at least don't. So, I'm not sure if they actually do. But, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's this. So, if you remember, we tamed these actually a long time ago. During the Easter event, still. Uh, we had Finn. I think that's our male, yeah, Finn's our male, and he was a, you know, nice golden shark with like the blue, the nice cyanish blue lines there, yeah, already looks mutated, it's not, just saying, uh, this one here is Min, uh, we just named that to rhyme with Finn, because Min, it's, it's a megalodon, and yeah, that's our female, it's five levels higher currently. Did I level these? Yeah, I leveled these guys, so... Yeah, I leveled them. Darn it, I shouldn't have leveled them. Anyways, the first thing, whenever you're getting mutations... I'm not sure if we're gonna go for mutations. I think we should go for mutations. Let's go for mutations. So, we're actually gonna be going for mutations this time. And we also have our, you know... Got our harpoon launchers on the ready. For some reason, there's a line down there. That shouldn't be there. Yeah, anyways. We also have a crossbow here. We only have four arrows, but it's kind of useless, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have to get pregnant. Uh, I remember the first time I bred these things was on mobile. Yeah, that was a long time ago, too. Even longer. Like, last year about this time, actually. So, yeah, <laughs> that was a thing. I actually bred Megalodons at that point. I just bred them once, but I got a 100% imprinted one. Gestration, six minutes, oh my gosh. So, yeah, obviously it's freezing cold here. I've got scuba on. I have gilly, gilly gauntlets on. Does this protect you from the cold? Somehow it does. That logic makes no sense to me, but okay. Does this protect you from the cold? Oh, it protects you just as much. Let's just put that on for now. Anyways, I gotta wait for this guy to gestrate. Once the first one is hatched, I'll bring you guys back, and then we'll probably just... When mutations are here, because we need want a really cool mutated shark. We also have feeding trash here, full of meat. And Charizard, because Charizard is awesome. Oh yeah, I forgot that... We burn our own creep. Okay. I forgot that that happens. Yeah, don't don't do that. Sharks, for some reason, take damage by fire wyvern breath, even though they're in the water. Anyways, I'll be back when this guy's ready. See you then. Seconds until the little baby's gonna come out down there. I can't wait. I didn't see him move over here though. Oh, and boom. Little baby Megalodon. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! I have not seen it. Oh my gosh, I want it to just stay a baby. Is that allowed? I love the echo. Oh crap, I'm suffocating. Forgot to put my scuba back on. I took it off. Why did I do that? Because I'm an idiot. That's why. It's so tiny and cute. Look how big its eyes are! <laughs> Behavior... Follow distance to lowest. Oh my gosh, look at the little thing! Oh, oh, I love it already. 
You stay there. Oh, I need to disable wandering on you, don't I? And we'll just let you swim around in there. So yeah, I actually fenced this in so that, that he they wouldn't escape, which is luckily I did that. Because yeah. Otherwise they would definitely escape. Let's take twenty of this. A little baby megalodon's trying to get into that big area there. So yeah, we need to actually check him for mutations. Oh wait, no, we should probably keep them still because otherwise we have to imprint on them still. Actually, wait, maybe we won't imprint on them, but still. Other words, it's going to be really annoying. So yeah, we're not going to imprint on them till we get the ones that we actually are going to use. Stay still. I disabled it, right? Behavior, okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, these things are adorable. Did we get any mutations? Please tell me we got mutations. No. So yeah, we're gonna have millions of megalodons. I love this thing. Maybe I will imprint one, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna wait until I get one that I think I'm going to keep. I sort of want to get a really cool mutated one. Like this baby, he's he's adorable. Don't get me wrong, but we need to have one that's mutated a bit more than this cuz this is just like, you know, the average, but still look how adorable he is. Anyways, I'm going to be back when we get another shark. Or when we actually no, I'll be back when we get another mutated shark. See you then. Hey guys, so we got our first mutation from the Megalodon Britain. It's actually this tri this triplets actually and see how we've got like a I can't really tell in the water what that is but it looks like maybe a dark green maybe a black I don't know but yeah we got triplets so that's actually very good we're gonna disable wandering on them all because we don't want them wandering around we might use that because I sort of have an idea of what I want the megalodon to look like the end one I'm thinking maybe something that would look like an alpha megalodon, so with some reds, some whites, some blacks. That would look pretty cool. Actually, we got another shark over here. This one just let one out, right? Yeah. Oh, there it is. So, yeah. What are you? Any mutations? Let's check. Crap health. No mutations. So what I've actually been doing with the no mutation ones, I've just been shoving them in cryopods. You know, why not? Then whenever we want a baby shark, we can have a baby shark. You know. They spoil in 30 days, but I doubt I'm going to be playing on single player for 30 days anytime soon. That would be a lot of hours on single player, wow. You know, may maybe on an actual multiplayer server, like a PvP, maybe even a PvE server, those might spoil if you don't have them in a cryo fridge. And cryo fridges obviously are, are the safer deal, because, yeah. But anyways, yeah, I wouldn't really need that on this, especially not to house like 8 million baby megalodons, so. Yeah, I wanna see what this black color is. We're gonna need, once one of these are grown up, to get a saddle. Also, I'm not imprinting on these guys. That may seem strange, but imprinting, the stats on imprinting, does not carry on to the next one. So that's not how it's going to work. If this was two females and a male, I would actually replace those three megalodons there with it. But it's only one female, so we don't have enough breeders. Actually, these were the first ones from this one here. So yeah, I guess I'll be back when I should get on land. When we get a new mutation, the next mutation. See you then. We just got our next mutation, which is this little baby here. Unfortunately, it's on the same region as these guys here, which is that region there. Not the blue on the top. That was already there. That was from the event. But this thing here, the copper color on the side. This one's got like a dark bluish color. I'm not sure which one I like better, but they both are pretty sweet. We would probably have to first change what the other color is probably. So we actually added more on- oh, another one! 
You, I think, are from the copper colored one, right? Uh, oh, you have another mutation. Okay. What's your other mutation? Uh, I don't think it's a color mutation. Oh, well, that sucks. Crap. Well, that sucks. Anyways, I guess I will be back when we get the next mutation. See you then. So, I actually am still breeding. We got the blue mutation. I like the color of that, so I added that in the mutation line thing. So, that's there now. And I also went out and I actually tamed another Megalodon. It's actually a really low level, but we have it in this cryopod. It's got the red that we want. I've actually been trying for a long time to get that mutation. Uh, the red on the back, that's actually the mutation color I want, so. Didn't know that it was <laughs> already like a spawn that already could appear, but yeah. Now I feel dumb. So we now have the red mutation. Well, it's not really a mutation. It's technically, you know, wild. Ride on that guy. Oh my gosh, he can't, I can't even ride on him. What is his weight set? We are very overweight for him. We have way too much meat on us. Let's drop some meat, shall we? Because I don't really need meat. That's why. There we go. So, oh, yeah, we now can. Okay. Perfect. The red doesn't show too good underwater, though, but when it comes out of the water, ooh, yay. So, what I eventually want to do, I want to get this red color on the blue back of that shark. Although, probably this shark's actually a lot cool. Yeah, whatever. This looks actually kind of like... But I was thinking of maybe getting this one wild. Wild Ancestors is a female. That's a male. We gotta breed them. Enable mating. It might be a bit of a lower level since that's a lower shark. Oh my gosh, look at all these sharks over here. Got you. What mutation do you have? Same. We're basically looking for color mutations still. And stat mutations on this doesn't really matter. We're just gonna use it to go down and get an artifact, but a cool looking megalodon would be pretty sweet. There's another one. How many of them did Oh my gosh. Apparently a lot of them got born while I was out. You wanna go in there? Okay, you can go in there. There he goes. I actually haven't showed you guys this yet. No, they all died! What? No! What? I unclaimed them all! What? No! This is so sad! I actually unclaimed these guys all in here because this was supposed to be like a megalodon sanctuary. Only one of them even got- Oh, wait, you're still in- what the heck? Was it cause you guys were unconscious? I'm so confused. You guys were supposed to, <laughs> no. See what I did, I went like this, options, unclaim. Maybe it's cause they all had cryo sickness. Is that a thing? Uh, crap. This was supposed to be like a really cool, like sort of Megalodon sanctuary thing. Aw, that sucks. I actually cryopotted a ton of baby megalodons just to leave in here. Cause that would've been cool. All of them died! You guys are all dead, what the heck? No. Uh, why? My megalodon sanctuary. There's not even anything in them. No, what the heck happened to you guys? Now there's like three megalodons left in here. That sucks. I thought that would work. So unclaimed creatures apparently starve still. Noted. That sucks. Uh, why? My megalodon sanctuary. Anyways. 
I'll be back when we get another mutation. See you then. Hey guys, I just got a really cool mutation. Look at this thing. I was not sure what I wanted the bottom part of the shark to be. Oh crap, that guy is following me too. But this little guy here, perfect mutation. Like I couldn't have asked for a better mutation right now. After, you know, uh, the Megalodon Sanctuary thing, uh, uh, that wasn't too good. All of our Megalodons in there died, by the way. Yeah, it sucked. Aw, oh, crap, I need stamina. So, yeah. Yeah. That's a really cool color, and if we add that with the black color that's already on there, actually. I like that black color on there now. Actually, that's- I, is that a new mutation, too? No way. You did not get two mutations, one pop. And, oh, one's a health mutation, too. Wow. Okay, yeah, so that is one of the original mutations we got. I like that. That is cool. Nice. I love that rust color. Now all we need is a back mutation. I am actually probably not going to use this guy anymore. Uh, sorry. Disable mating for you. Because, yeah, we can't have red, black, and orange. Uh, the Megalodon's gonna be a little bit too dark colored. We want kind of a brighter color now. This, like, bluish cyan, it's kind of too bright, to be honest. Maybe a little bit of a darker color. Yeah. Anyways, I'll be back when I get another color that's a bit darker. See you then. We're actually on the final stage of our breeding. Finally! Enable mating on you. Enable mating on you. So we want this guy's colors, like we want the black, ba black ish back. That's kind of a coppery color. And we want the orange underbelly, but we want the red on this one. Because, yeah, that's, that's what we want. I'm not sure if mutations automatically go forward. Because this one here, those two are mutations, the orange and the black, so I'm not sure if those automatically go, but the red here is not a mutation. That's actually bred from its parent, which is also over there, just a low, low level. 190 is 1220, actually. So we should get something in between those two levels. Hopefully closer to 220, but yeah. So they're gonna mate, and I guess I'll be back when we have the shark that we want. And I also need to go up to my base and craft a better saddle. So, I'll see you then. See you then. Ooh, the Megalodon actually just got out. I just got, like, got him. He's exactly the shark we wanted. And he actually gained an extra mutation. Not sure what the mutation is. Don't think it's a color mutation, but anyways, yeah. There it is. Perfect shark. At least the shark we want. So yeah, I'm actually gonna take this guy out there to do a thumbnail because he's adorable. I need to take a thumbnail image of him. So I'll be back probably when the first imprint is. See you then. Hey guys, so it's actually not the first imprint. I just have him out here just like taking the thumbnail images and stuff. And he's so adorable. I just needed to show him off when he's like a little juvenile baby thing. Like, look at that. Just look at it. Like, you got the orange underbelly, the copper middle, and you got the red on the top. Perfect. And I think I know what I'm going to name him to. I'm probably going to name him Rusty. That's a pretty good name for him. And yeah. So he's going to be named Rusty, actually. Just need to... You just needed to admire him. I'm actually gonna name him right now. Oh, no, oh, back. Options, change name. Name your Megalodon. We're gonna name him Rusty. Except, hey there, Rusty. So yeah, I'll be back in five minutes when the imprint is ready. See you then. Hey guys, so the first imprint is here and it's Prime Meat Jerky. I actually went up to my base to grab this. Already seen this because I did not feel like flying up there on cam, but yeah. Beat prime meat jerky to Rusty. And actually now I have extra food, so that's good. 
And <laughs> I also brought this for him. He is the most important shark, so he gets all of the food. <laughs> I brought all a ton of cooked lamb chops from my base down here, and I'm feeding my shark cooked lamb chops. Best idea! <laughs> Has anyone done that before? Probably not, because that's probably a big waste. But yeah, I'm feeding him, you know, cooked lamb chops. <laughs> that's his only food source. Only cooked lamb chops until he grows up. Nothing else. No. I don't care if you think it's stupid. That's happening. No more. But yeah, he's only eating cooked lamb chops. If you don't think that's right, say that in the comments. So yeah. Anyways, see you at the next imprint. So Rusty is actually done. See, we got Rusty here. And also, the other two Megalodons are also done. That one's 100%, Rusty's 100%, and that one over there, which actually, I just realized this now, does not even have the back imprint, the back mutation. I didn't even notice that, but okay. Yeah, these two are our two mutated sharks. That one's not mutated all the way. Anyways, what I need to do, I need to swim this guy around, level him up. There's probably not much around this area. But there's a little bay over there that we can probably find something in that. So yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Let's see how much damage we do. 250, not bad. So I'm actually going to level this guy. Because next episode, we're going to be swimming to the bottom of the ocean to get an artifact. Anyways, if you liked this episode, smash that like button and subscribe for more. Centraxion, out.